Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Furman Mini in Palm Harbor, Florida. And guess what? We have it. This is the Refresh 2021 Mini Cooper SE Countryman All 4. But before we dive into this plug-in electric hybrid Mini, let's talk about what's going on here. Mini, that iconic brand from England, really balances on usability and also that fun factor. And definitely at the end of the day, an unmistakable look. Now for 2021, there are some revisions done to the whole Countryman lineup. This one being a Cooper SE Countryman means it is Mini's plug-in electric hybrid. So it's all about trying to maximize that range, maximize the interior space as usual, but also keep that fun factor going. So let's go ahead, let's dive in and see, is this the most fun you could have when going electric plug-in hybrid route. Right off the bat, the color. This is an all new color for 2021. It's called Sage Green. And the fun thing is that John Cooper works over there. That's another new color called White Silver Metallic. First time on the color palette for 2021. When we start at the front of the business, looking at the bonnet, you're gonna see some revisions. New headlight housing shape, still keeping that unmistakable identity. I mean, you would have to be probably on Mars to not know that this is a Mini. So you're gonna have the nice, tasteful chrome trim, LED lighting, and then everything on the interior is blacked out. I do like the way it's got the Mini name to the interior of the headlight housing up there. And then as we work our way down, functional side air curtains, all new fog lamps. So LED fog lamps. I like the way they integrated some flat black in there. Coming across the grill, they reshaped the grill, the chrome trim that extends along the lower portion, that hot horizontal bar, looking great, especially around the perimeter. We have flat black that is functional. Because this is a plug-in electric hybrid, we have that unique S badge that has that yellow tinge color. We drop our way down, and you'll see with that sage green, you're gonna have some flat black. They reworked the lower area, fully functional. And then there's those great looking fog lamps with those functional air curtains it has just a great look that just pulls at your heartstrings. Now, when you get up onto the bonnet, you're gonna have, of course, that bulge. Everybody wants a bulge. You get one with your Countryman. Nice rise. You got that iconic mini badge. And then as we kind of drift around the corner, just the way that everything has a nice flow to the design, a little bit peaked up on the fenders to go with that bulge in the center. And then coming around the bend, we have all new wheel designs for 2021. So looking at our particular Cooper SE, you can see you have this multi-spoke bright metallic silver. This is an 18 inch wheel, 225 on the width. And when you're looking at the sidewall, you're getting a nice meaty 55 series sidewall, excuse me, 50 series sidewall. Plenty of room between the top of the tire, inside the fender. I like the way they bring that flat black all the way around. This portion is the bonnet. This is gonna raise and lower. As we go in, you'll see you have your unique plug badge, that plug-in badge there. I like the way they worked it. It actually looks like a plug. You see the, the green there? Looks like a plug. You got your side marker light. Nothing too gaudy, tasteful. All four badge. So the way it's gonna work is you do have all-wheel drive. I'll explain exactly how those rear wheels are being driven on this particular one. We have this silver metallic on the mirror caps and also on the flat roof. You have the raised bright silver roof rails to go nicely with the wheels. Panoramic sunroof. I like the way they even brought the silver along the lower sill section. And the body lines just give it so much character. That's what I always love about minis. So much character. Chrome trim. The chrome trim actually goes all the way around with the chrome door handles. Nice low roof spoiler. And then when we come out back, this is gonna be refreshed for 2020. Now, you're gonna get the Union Jack built into the tail light. The Union Jack, remember, is the flat, the English flag. Like that design, this is all retweaked. They dropped the DOT required reflectors into that flared out fender. And then as we come across the bottom section, you have your Countryman badge, little bit of piano black with the mini badge, Cooper S and the plug-in. I'm actually gonna take you to the business end real quick, because I wanna show you you're probably asking me, well, Joe, where do we plug in? And I'm gonna get my towel out of the way. Where do we plug in our mini? This is where you're gonna actually plug it in. So you swing that open, plug it in, and that's gonna help increase your range. But while we go ahead, let's pop the bonnet and see what's powering this mini Countryman. 
All right, guys, we got the bonnet open. Underneath the bonnet, you have that 1.3 liter naturally aspirated engine. I do like the way they took their e-badging with the plug there. You got your mini badge there. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, is that it? Of course not, because this is a plug-in electric hybrid. So basically, you're looking at up front, the inline three, out back to power the rear wheels, you have an electric motor. Combine the two together, you're looking at 221 horsepower, 284 pound-feet of torque. So if you do the math, 87 horsepower at the rear, the rest is gonna be up front. It's made it to a six-speed automatic transmission. The vehicle weighs around 3,790 pounds. On gasoline only, it'll get 27 miles of the gallon. If you're doing gasoline with the electric, you're looking at 73 MPGEs, and it has about an 18 mile range on pure EV. You got a bigger battery. Battery is lithium ion. It is located underneath the rear seat. But while we go ahead, we talked about what this brings to the table when it comes to fuel efficiency. Let's check out the interior and see what's in store for this countryman. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Mini Cooper SE Countryman, all four. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, I've always wanted a Mini. Having that electric plug-in hybrid capability is really making my heart pitter-patter because I want to hypermile this thing. How much is it? You're looking at an MSRP of $44,700. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, this one has the Harman Garden sound system. I'm loving the two-tone interior. The nice, soft, dark material with that creamy white looks really clean. The stitch work is great. A Little bit of gloss black, but nothing that you're really gonna touch. And you got plenty of room down there for some bangers and mash and a bottle of Mr. Pib to wash it all down. Now, when you get to the dash, soft touch. I love the AC vent design. Gloss black with a little bit of silver. This is new for 2021. You have an eight inch infotainment system screen. It is a touch screen. It does have navigation and Apple CarPlay and all that. You get your little uh, driving features with vehicle status. Look and see what your uh, tire pressure is. We could go into warnings, all that kind of stuff. You do have your drive modes, just like in any other Mini. So you do have Sport, you're gonna have Mid, and then of course Green. So it's nice to see all that. Let me throw it into reverse. There is your backup camera with trajectory, and you have your sensory technology, all 360, which is really nice. Put it back in the park, and then I could hit Map, and it could go right back to Map. So super clean dual climate control, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. I would like to see ventilated seats in a Mini. Now, what's interesting about the rally style gauges is that you have your E-Drive. That's for your pure EV mode, 18 miles. Now, if you want to do EV, you push up. If you want to do gas hybrid, you push down. So that's how to operate that, your traction control. Of course, you're going to have a USB, a 12 volt, Nice little cubby area up here. Two cup holders. This is going to control that six-speed automatic transmission. You got your BMW-style iDrive control. Love the darker gray finish. Semi-soft on the armrest. You open this up. You do have a cubby. You could easily put two Twinkies in there. No wireless charging. Lift this up. You can literally take a box of Twinkies and just put them right there. This one, you are going to have that optional signature style seating. This used to be a $2,000 option for 2021. They lowered the price. It's $1,000. You can hear the sirens because people are so excited of how they changed the pricing, the piping, the stitch work, manual seat controls. You do have the hamstring extension. Here's your key fob, standard key fob. I'm wondering when Mini's going to update this key fob. It was cute at first. I'm not so sure. Now, sort of looks like something that the Girl Scouts would sell, like a Girl Scout cookie, like a do -si do or uh, a Thin Mint. Doesn't it sort of look like a Thin Mint? But anyways, you do have your panoramic sunroof. It does have the split here, but the glass goes all the way back. And of course, plenty of headroom that goes on for days. But why don't you come over to the business end? Because guess what? I have a five inch digital display that I want to show you. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. I do like the aluminum sill panel with that S in the yellow, meaning that we're an electric plug-in hybrid. You do have your manual seat controls, easy to figure out. Steering wheel, still the same great steering wheel. I love the thickness, the two types of leather, that baseball style contrast stitching. Look at that, the Union Jack, little bit of piano black, the mini badge with some chrome, flat black on the buttons. 
little bit of gloss black, but nothing too crazy. And then check it out, over five inches of visual pleasure there in a mini, clean. You have all your power ready to charge, your speedometer and your fuel gauge, and you even have a head-up display. Love the vis visibility out the front. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the back seat because remember, the lithium ion, more powerful lithium ion batteries for 2021 are underneath that rear seat. Let's see what it feels like. All right, guys, back seat time. And the great news is you're not losing any type of headroom or space because of the lithium ion batteries. The only thing you are losing is you can't slide the back seat row anymore. But I can understand that because the batteries are underneath. I do have that nice panoramic sunroof. Like I said, the glass goes all the way back. We have the leather all the way around. Nice size pocket. Hey, put some Beatles albums in there, some CDs. If anybody even still uses CDs, I guess you could put your, your iPod in there, huh? You get your iPod out. Maybe your iPod Nano could really go old school. Two AC vents, USB-Cs. The great news is I got plenty of leg room, especially the way they notch out the back. And I didn't move this seat whatsoever. No armrest though. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but hopefully you have a younger brother or sister. You could punch them in the stomach and then use them as an armrest. But while we go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see how much space we have in the Countryman. All right, guys, time to get into the boot, that trunk area. Real simple, you're just gonna push the button here and then you have a nice electric assist on the opening. And as you can see, not compromising any of that 17 cubic feet of space. Fold the seats down, you get around almost 47 cubic feet of space. I do wanna show you something real quick. So you have your all your plug-in equipment here. We lift this up there's where your electric motor is. So you have that 87 horsepower electric motor that's gonna drive the rear wheels. But you know what? As that hits me in the head, if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm gonna go get some ice and then we're gonna go for a drive in this country. All right guys, we left Firm and Mini. We're in the 2021 Cooper SE Countryman. And right away, the great news is, even though this is an electric plug-in hybrid vehicle, you're gonna get that same great fun driving experience. Let's go ahead. I do have it in sport mode. You still get all your modes. I'm going to go ahead and get on throttle here. So on throttle, wow, it really does put you back in your seat and you're looking zero to 60 in around the mid five second range. So actually quite respectable for the weight of the vehicle and for the overall horsepower of the vehicle. Visibility, just as good as any other countryman. I do really like the work that they've done with the 8.8 inch infotainment Guys, system. I wanna do acceleration from a dead stop on throttle. You're definitely gonna feel the difference between a standard countryman and this Cooper SE countryman. Having the 87 horsepower motor out there gets the power down to the back. Power is efficient at the front and it really gives you a nice, steady, quicker acceleration. Definitely something different, like I said, than your regular Countryman. And then you're gonna get the same great handling dynamics. Now, the wonderful news is, with the placement of the lithium ion battery, it actually lowers the center of gravity in this particular Countryman, which is great. Visibility out the back is wonderful. Seats are comfy, very supportive, and you have such a unique interior and the best news is no CVT. You have a six-speed automatic transmission. I like the way they still have the drive boats, especially sport, because it's gonna change the parameters of the transmission, the engine, and everything on how it behaves. And really just a really smooth driving vehicle. Let me go ahead and get on throttle from a roll here. I'm gonna slow down a tad. So on throttle, instantaneous you're not waiting for anything and remember you have the three cylinder in here not the turbocharged two liter i like the changes that they made to some of the finishes in here the exterior color uh is really really a, a color to really help you stand out from the rest of the crowd the sage green you also have like i said that white silver metallic but overall love the weight love the driving feel and just another option in the world of hybrid vehicles, going electric plug-in hybrid with your country. Hot throttle. So one thing you're really gonna notice, especially if you've driven the two liter turbocharged four in the minis, is that you are going to get that instantaneous torque delivery of that electric motor out back. 
and that's gonna help with overall acceleration. Going over speed bumps, obviously we're not gonna go full speed, but really handles the bumps well, super smooth, nice and tight inside too. Not a lot of creaks, not a lot of rattles, none actually. Um, so they're doing a great job with the quality of the chassis and the materials that they're using. Brakes feel good overall and just really smooth. You don't feel the interaction of when the electric motor kicks in, which is great. You're actually having seamless connectivity and that's what makes it feel more natural. But hopefully, hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the Countryman in the Cooper SE platform is bringing. We're gonna get back to Furman Mini and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another great day here at Furman Mini. Definitely gotta thank Ryan, Michael, the rest of the crew getting us the updated, upgraded, and new color 2021 Mini Cooper SE Countryman, all four. If you're looking for something that definitely has that unique driving personality, that fun driving experience, and you want plug-in electric hybrid technology, Mini definitely checks off all the boxes with some nice revisions. But if you want to keep seeing these small SUVs that are plug-in electric hybrid, put a comment in that comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. You could hear the sirens. They're approaching us because they know that these minis are ultra hot for 2021. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You'll keep coming back for more and more. I know you will. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you and the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Crown Vic. You know what? He's setting this world on fire, and that's why this fire truck is coming to put him out with his really hot photography skills and camera skills. But guess what? The ambulance is here for you, Crown Vic, so it's time to go. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.